Hi, I'm Greg Benevent, and I'm very happy to be joined today by Tina. Hello. How are you doing, Tina? I'm blessed. Thank you for asking, Greg. That, that's great. No, that's great. That's great. You could tell us a bit about uh, who you are and uh, what it is that you do around here, uh, Tina. Uh, my name is Tina H. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I got into recovery, I would say, 11 and a half years ago. Wow. And that was my, um, my I think, my biggest challenge ever because I come from a family that were just, we don't talk about alcohol, we don't mm. talk about this, you know, just okay. fix your problems on your own, you know. <laughs> so, um, very cultural too. I'm okay. Jordanian, Middle Eastern, oh, okay. so that played a big role. I was mm. pushed into marriage, so at an early wow. age, you know, um, I knew how to press my feelings, and mm. then when that didn't do, alcohol came in the picture, mm. so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, that's incredible. 11, 11 and a half years. By the grace of God. Yes. Wow. Congratulations. Thank that's you amazing. So much. That's Thank amazing. You. And, um, so, I mean, uh, so many people that I've sat down to talk to here, uh, you know, they talk about the family like atmosphere, about knowing Amy. Uh, how did you happen to meet Amy here? So, we were going, we were taking uh, Jimmy, who's a big part of my recovery, too, runs Big okay. Books in Pasadena. We were on our way to Pomona to okay. take seven years myself and Jimmy, 20 plus years. Wow. And a group of us, and mm -hmm. um, just he he left us and went to sit by this one girl named Amy. <laughs> so outside, you know, we were like, "What's going on here?" He came with us, a bit uncomfortable, and I said, oh, "My name is Tina." You know, I'm very friendly. Yes, yes. And mm -hmm. my name's Tina, and she's like, "I'm Amy," you know, and she was a bit um, haywire, <laughs> but. We, she fell into our group right away, so oh, we got to know her, and you know, mm -hmm. as we all do, we take her under our wing, as they did for me, and mm -hmm. just with, she's helped my family, mm -hmm. I've helped her, so it's wow. been vice versa. Okay. It, uh, you mentioned, that, uh, I mean, uh, I have a million questions, so you mentioned that, you know, she helped your family and you helped her. Uh, I mean, what, what, what does that mean in this context? I mean, I know that you two own some diff things together, I believe. We did, or we did. We own Ta Treatment Center and that was in Pasadena. She okay. was one of the ones that, um, mm -hmm. that was big on, let's get this started. So mm. I was there, you know, and... Wow. Um, I was at the back end, you know, I was just talking to people. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make no money, just volunteer. And she mm -hmm. played a big role too in our marketing part of it. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. Again, we had a couple of treatment centers in Pasadena, but okay. COVID took, took that down. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. we did well, you know, mm -hmm. and um, she was, again, the marketing person. So she, the way she helped my family out Please. is she got, she got to know all my family. Mm -hmm. My uh, daughter was having behavioral issues, my mm -hmm. oldest, okay, and came in and... She, my daughter didn't even want to have anything to do with me. She's like, where's Amy? Where's Amy? She understands me. So I think coming from that perspective okay. and Amy, the person that she is, she's just mm. overall wants to help like I do. No, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. It, I, I, I mean, if, if you could clarify a bit about that, about, you know, you wanting to help. I mean, just if you could talk, because I mean, so many that I've sat down and talked to have talked about, you know, what it's like to be able to help somebody, what I was able to see oh, yeah. in their, in their uh, uh, journey. If you could talk, tell us a little sure. bit about that. You know, I came in the rooms and I didn't know what these people wanted from me mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. they didn't want anything. They just wanted to be there to help. Wow. So I've, I've, I, I know that for a fact that even mm -hmm. at the back of your head, you're like, what am I doing this for? But we, what we get in return mm -hmm. just for these people getting better, the seeing the light come on and them mm -hmm. just doing better in life, right. it just gets us going even more. You know, just <laughs> when I'm having a bad day and I see the person right. smiling, I'm, I'm okay at the end of the wow. day, you know. Wow. And it's come to fruition. Like the, my kids' um, mm -hmm. friends all come to me for help. My, uh -oh. They'll bring them to me. Wow. If it's that phone call, and when they're okay, I'm okay. Wow. That, that, that's great. That's great. I'm, I'm trying to find something to say other than wow, and I'm unable. It, um, I mean, it's, without giving away too much, and I think you, and, and this might step on what you've already said, but I mean, if you could talk about maybe just uh, some success stories, some things that really stick out to you that you've seen over the years for people that have come through, whether it's treatment here or just treatment in general, um, about um, things that you're like, wow, look look at this. Like, um, I've seen know. it. I've mm -hmm. seen it. You know, mm -hmm. just um, where Amy's come from and where she's at right now. Mm. She's built a business. She's does it all from the bottom of her heart right. just her the places the people I've met wow. in her um like we hang out like wow. people like normal people you know right. becomes part of our lives mm. not even our families understand that but these guys in recovery you could just come oh, I get it right away <laughs> where on the outside we're explaining you know I'm going through this and that yeah mm. just get over it you know <laughs> but the success stories are mm. this right here you know meeting mm. the people 
sometimes it, it's not right. about the money. Right. It's about just being okay inside and having people to, to do that on our path with it. We do it together. Wow. That, that's that, the success. I was, that sense, that, that community of itself, that it, is the success exactly, in and of itself. Exactly. Hey, Tom, I, I, this, was, this was just brought up at another uh, podcast, and I just feel compelled to ask everyone about it now. Somebody... I was recently told about the 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 fun in recovery. Oh yeah, and no, and, and I don't think anyone ever brought that up. If you could talk a little bit about that, Tina, oh, I'm you all seem about that. Eminently qualified oh, to my do gosh. so. I'm all about <laughs> that. You know, um, we play bingo. We mm. have barbecues. Oh, um, wow. mm. Just us, our laughter, our camaraderie. You know, mm. um, um, we do big stuff around here. The mm. the fun of it keeps yeah. me hanging on. You know, I right. hate to say this. It's mm. not always about the recovery aspect. Right. Yeah. It's the fun, what we're mm -hmm. doing fun, you know, mm -hmm. going out to eat, going out to fellowship with each other. Mm -hmm. And fellowship means eating together, bowling together, pizza together. If we have an intimate conversation, you know, because we can't do that with all of our family. Right. So that's a big part of my success is just that. Mm -hmm. Just seeing other people smile and everybody being happy. You know, it, this, it shows, it glows. They, they always tell me, you're just glowing. Okay. <laughs> Even when we're not inside, I think right. as long as we do it, it's mm -hmm. coming. So that's a big part too, you know, because mm -hmm. I come from a sheltered, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very sheltered. Mm -hmm. And just to be myself in recovery is a big part, you know, just being myself around here and, and it's I okay. I totally get that. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people come across these videos because, uh, you know, they, they're kind of researching recovery treatment centers and they're not sure about whether I should reach out yet, should I, should I not. What would you say to somebody that uh, oh came across God. this video and was thinking about guys, reaching out? Um, I came into recovery not willing to do this, but I only had to do a couple months. And I stayed in my rehab facility for a year and a half, believe it or not. And then it was for me. You know, and just the person that you become in these, in, in, you know, in part of our community, however your, your journey is, it's your journey, but I highly recommend it really. It's the best thing I ever did. It just, no words could tell you guys until you do it yourself. Just reach out. That's all it takes. Just reaching out. That was, that was so well said, Tina. Uh, thank you for taking, those are all the questions. Thank, thank you for you. taking the time thank to you, reach with me today. That was easy. That was that was... Yes, it was. No, it's a, so I could have talked to you all day. I, I really, really you. could. I really, really could. I appreciate you, Greg. I appreciate You're so you as well. fun. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, on behalf of everyone here, my name is Greg Bonavent. Take it easy. Have a good night. <laughs>